Hi, Kristen for Guns.com, and today I have a review for all of you survival-minded folks as I pick out three of my top survival bug-out guns. Now the parameters are pretty simple. I want them to be packable, foldable, easily stowable, as well as durable, reliable, and accurate. Now that's not too much to ask when it's a gun that you'll be relying on for your safety, security, and well-being. And starting right from the top here, I have the Henry AR-7, which packs down into its own buttstock. Now this is a 22 long rifle semi-automatic rim fire, which is easy to maneuver and pack and watertight and supposedly floatable. Next up on my list, I have the Chiapa Excalibur. Now this is a break action over and under with a 12 gauge over a 22 long rifle. And you'll see the whole thing folds up neatly and easily. And best of all, comes with a sleeve of inserts for that 12 gauge barrel that will allow us to shoot a number of other calibers. And lastly, and newest in the market, is the Midland Backpacker. What we have here is a 12 gauge single shot, but what makes it interesting is that the Midland company is coming out with a line of centerfire and rimfire barrels that are drop-in interchangeable and will allow you to carry a variety of chamberings. The first of our three survival guns that we're liking today is this Henry AR-7 with the survival pack. Now that gives you the semi-automatic rifle as well as a carrying case and a number of survival supplies here from a water filter to paracord to food, knives, everything that you need for your basic start you out kit. But what drives it is the 22 long rifle itself. Now we've put over 200 rounds through this, three different types of ammunition, and not had a single hiccup on the range. And best of all, we're right there at 50 yards, a nice group, and at 100 yards, I'm still feeling good about lethality and accuracy in a lightweight gun. At only three and a half pounds, it's wieldy, it's maneuverable, and best of all, packs into its own buttstock, ready to go in the carrying case or your backpack. Now our Henry AR-7 in the survival pack carries an MSRP of $550. The bare rifle itself with an MSRP of 305. But when you consider the real world prices at online retailers already, putting the complete package under $400, it's a no brainer to go with the complete setup. And what really sets this gun apart from the other ones in our test here is how it packs down into its stock. And that's a simple barrel nut here that allows our barrel to unscrew and come off of the receiver. Just like that, we're right off. The screw here allows the receiver to take down. Your receiver comes free and the whole works packs into the buttstock. So it's a nice easy fit here. Barrel goes into its slot. The receiver with its magazine still in place drops in. There's room for the extra included magazine as well as a third one if you care to buy one. And then right back together and 16 inches overall here, three and a half pounds, and this can go right into my backpack. Or if you buy the survival pack into this nice Allen case made in America with these supplies and plenty of room for you to supplement with additionals. Next up on our list of the top three survival guns is the Chiapa Excalibur M6 over and under, with this particular one being a 12 gauge over a 22 long rifle. What makes this special is not only the fact that it folds down into an 18 and a half inch length, but best of all, that it comes with this set of eight chamber adapters, which allows you the ability to shoot 12 different chamberings and gauges. And you'll see we have these here, and they all drop into that 12 gauge barrel. I like the 38 and 357, so we'll put that adapter in that 12 gauge barrel, line it up. There's my 38 special and my 22 long rifle, and we're ready to go. And if you're scrounging ammo or throwing a bunch of ammo in your pack, you're all set to go when you're out in the wilds. With the 18 and a half inch barrel, it's a wieldy gun. It's lightweight at 5.6 pounds. Starting from the receiver, we have three separate Picatinny rails for mounting optics, lights, whatever you might like to attach there. You have the peep sight adjustable rear, as well as the fiber optic front. And in a nice move, storage for your rimfire ammo here, a couple of shotgun shells, and in that back mount, a cleaning kit 
tucked away nicely when you're in the field. The kicker on this one, a lot of people are turned off by the MSRP of 949. Since this gun and package has been out for a number of years now, you can find it around $700 at online retailers. It's a personal decision, but it sure is nice to be able to have access to all these different chamberings when you're in a survival situation. I've shot a 12, a 20, now I have a 410, which is the same adapter that'll also take a 45 long colt. It's just such a versatile survival gun. The last on our list of the top three packable survival guns is one that's new to the market with the Midland Backpack. This is a 12 gauge break action single shot with a 24 inch barrel. Now you see this gun folds up nicely. It's about the length of the barrel at about 24 and a half inches overall when it's folded. And best of all, what Midland is doing is filling the niche that was once taken up by New England Firearms and H&R with guns that are coming out with center fire and rim fire barrels that'll be drop-in interchangeable so you can have different calibers with you as you venture into the field. The nicest things about this are twofold. One, the interchangeable barrels, and two, the price. With an MSRP of $149 and dealer prices hovering right around $100, this is an easily accessible gun that's available not only in 12, but also 20 and 410s as well. And for the smaller shooters, it comes with several spacers here that you can take in and out. And being lightweight at 4.8 pounds, that's going to be a stout punch in a 12 gauge. Ooh! They might call this a survival gun because if you can shoot this 12 gauge that's four and a half pounds or less more than a dozen times, you're a survivor. But I'll tell you what, it's been reliable, it's been on target, and it gets the job done. And best of all, it fits nicely in that bug out bag. It's easy to customize for the individual shooter and it's affordable to get you a gun in that survival bag. Woo, that's a stout bit of recoil, there's no doubt about it. After a full day on the range, one thing I can say about our three top packable survival guns is they're durable, they're reliable, they cycled all the ammunition without a hitch. Which one you prefer or which one you put in your own bug out bag is really a personal preference as we have three different actions, different chamberings from shotguns to a mix of calibers to a rim fire. It's a personal preference on this end. I'd be happy taking any of these in my bug out bag depending on where my budget puts me and what kind of adventure I'm going on. Give us a like, share and a subscribe at guns.com. Read our full review for more information. Thanks for watching and drop by and give us a couple comments on what gun is in your bug out bag.